you, I'm Sarah Turner. I'm a freelance medical copywriter and today I want to give you 20 awesome resources for copywriting in 2020. So I'm going to share my screen with you so you can follow along. Let's go. Okay, so first up is the Hemingway app. It's HemingwayApp.com. Um, it's actually, you know, just a website. I'm not quite sure why they throw app in there. Some people tend to, it makes people think that it's like an app from the app store, but it's really just HemingwayApp.com. This was super helpful, especially when I was starting out because it will show you sentences that are kind of hard to read and in yellow, things that are way too complicated and red. Um, it'll show you simple alternatives, which is really a big deal when it comes to copywriting. Using words like utilize is just, you know, completely unnecessary. You can simply use use instead of utilize. So it will point out to you when you do things like that. This was also really helpful for me because I came from a formal background. Um, you know, I was in research and so my writing when I first started was very technical, very English classroom, and I really had to learn how to simplify and tone it down. It'll also show you adverbs um, and it will show you passive voice, which is super important when it comes to copywriting as well because you want to write in the active voice because your brain is much more responsive to the active voice. The other thing is um, you want to check your readability score and you want to aim for a middle school level. This can be pretty tough if you work in um, health and wellness, for example. You know, I write for doctors. So getting a middle school uh, readability level is pretty tough for me, but it's a good reminder to continue to work on simplifying your word choice and making it really accessible for pretty much everyone. It's also been helpful, Hemingway app, for showing especially my clients who are doctors and tend to write in very complex, technical, jargon-heavy, um, you know, writing and words, it's really a good reminder to them that, hey, you know, we need to be writing on a, a middle school level or attempting for it, and right now this is coming in way too high. Um, so I've definitely used this as a tool to kind of explain to my clients that we need to tone it down a notch. The next one that I really love is the free headline analyzer from CoSchedule. I love it not only because it gives you some scores for your headlines, but also it gives you a chance to really slow down and focus and spend some time just thinking about your headline. Um, I always write my headline last. I have a working headline that's kind of the general idea of whatever it is I'm writing, be it a landing page or if it's a subject line to an email or whatever. I have a working headline, but I go through and write everything and then I come back and write the headline at the end. And that has helped me a lot because I know by the end of all the other writing what this is really about, how to really capture attention, and um, yeah, just using a headline analyzer is a great way to spend some time kind of fiddling with the words. You'll see I went through and put some, you know, different title or headlines in here to kind of play with it and show you guys what I mean. You'll see I got a 68, then I changed um, truly romantic ways to surprise your partner to lover, actually went down. Um, ridiculously romantic ways stayed the same, went up when I said spice up your sex life. That's interesting, but down here, it will kind of tell you why it gave you the ranking you gave. Again, more than anything, is it's a good tool for really spending some time thinking about being intentional with your headline. And then down here, it will give you some tips, like saying, this is saying that my headline is a little too short. Um, and then, yeah, so it's saying that, you you know, it's kind of giving you some tips for uh, the word length and things like that. So it's just an idea it's just a tool for really taking the time to get really intentional about your headline. Um, yeah, it'll give you some keyword suggestions. But again, go, a good goal is a score of 70. That's what I like to tell my students. So try and fiddle with this. It's actually a lot of fun. You'll learn from it too. So it's one of my favorite tools. The next one is Neil Patel's Uber Suggest. And it is a tool that allows you to put in a keyword. Maybe we could put in the keto diet. See what comes up. And it will give you some suggestions as to what to use um, in the future. So, or for your piece. So do like 
uh, SEO difficulty, search volume, which means it's pretty high. This is the number of people kind of searching for it. Down here, it will give you some keywords that are also highly searched. Keto diet foods, that's a big one. Um, keto diet for beginners. So it's just a tool for getting, giving you some suggestions as to what keywords you want to include in your SEO for your pieces. If you know, of course, if your copy that you're writing, like a website, website copy, for example, needs SEO. Another keyword tool I love for getting ideas is the Keywords Everywhere plugin from Chrome. And actually, this is just a picture of the Chrome store. So this is where you would go to download it. But it's actually right here on the as a plugin on my um, browser. And so you, again, you can go in, you can, um, oh, it looks like I don't have any credits left, although I should, oops, anyway. It's a really good tool. You basically, it just pops up. I think I'm just probably not signed in, but you go in, you type in a keyword, and it will give you some suggestions. And it's great because you can kind of do it as you're searching and not have to like open a new tab and stuff. So that's great. Okay, BuzzSumo is also awesome. This is an, a tool that kind of shows you things that are getting a lot of traffic. So again, let's go back to the keto diet. And you will see here, Keto Big Mac Salad had a ton of shares on Facebook and Pinterest. So actually what I would see really quickly is that recipes are a big one for keto. So if you have a client who works with people who are um, on the keto diet or recommends the keto diet, or maybe you write for an e-commerce store that has keto related products like I, I do, um, you'll see, okay, let's make recipes like a part of our strategy. The next one is the Gary Halbert uh, Boron Letters. So hand copying and studying copy is like one of the best things you can do to improve your craft. And it's also something that we should all be working on. I mean, you're never done learning when you're a copywriter. It's something I actually really love about it. Um, but they're free online and you can go through and hand copy these, read them for sure. I learned so much reading these. Um, but the thing is, is you don't want to just read them. You want to be asking yourself questions when you're studying copy. You want to be asking yourself, what are they trying to do here? What um, emotions are they trying to evoke? What is the cadence and flow? Um, how often are they being repetitive? What is it that they're choosing to repeat? These are all really good questions you can ask yourself while you're going through and reading other uh, copy. Swipe.co is another great one if you're just starting out. Um, hand copying copy is something that has been recommended since forever, since the beginning of copywriting from what I gather. Um, it's how a lot of big names still to this day like claim that they got started was studying and hand copying other successful pieces of copy. And Swipe.co is a really awesome collection of swipe files meaning um, successful ads from the past. And I really want to encourage you actually to have a swipe file of your, for yourself. And that just can be a Google Doc on your computer, a folder where you keep things that you're like, dang, that is good. Because whenever you're having a moment where you're like, I just don't know what to write, you can always go to your swipe file and, your swipe file and look and see what you've been collecting over time. So next up, I want to talk about podcasts because if you're like me, I love to listen to podcasts while I'm doing laundry, while I'm, you know, if I'm in the car, if I'm taking an Uber somewhere, if I'm going on a walk. I love it because it's another time where you can kind of sneak in some extra copywriting, um, you know, studying and learning. So I really love the Copywriter Podcast. It is also a great Facebook group if you're not already in it, and they go over all sorts of things related to um, copywriting. Another podcast I really love is the Copy Blogger podcast. Um, this is great because they're a little shorter usually. They're usually about 30 minutes, which is nice, Little always under an hour. Um, so they're quick and um, there is a lot of content for you to go through here as well. The next one is I want to talk a little bit about courses. Um, there are a lot of courses out there, some, and they're very different, right? So it depends on where you are in your copywriting um, career. So one thing that I really like is Skillshare, which has some copywriting courses on it. It's great because it's $8 a month or 
for like if you sign up annually or $12 a month if you pay by month. And there are a bunch of good courses on here, but I want to point out Jack Zerby. He has some great, um, he has some great, you know, small courses. You'll see these courses are pretty short, usually like an hour or so. Um, but it's a great uh, resource for that. I'm obviously going to touch on Write Your Way to Freedom. Uh, that is my course on copywriting. I want to point out that Write Your Way to Freedom, I sometimes explain it as it's kind of an intro into entrepreneurship um, via copywriting. So it's really truly for people who are just starting out, are leaving their nine to five, um, and they really don't know where to begin. So it takes you from not even necessarily knowing what copywriting is to being a really successful copywriter. So if you've been copywriting for six years, it's probably not the course for you. Um, but yeah, got it, got it, had to mention it. And then another course that I really like is, is actually a free course and it's the Unbounce landing page course. It's a really fantastic course to kind of talk that kind of walks you through um, landing pages, which are a great money maker for copywriters. So definitely check this out and um, enjoy. Landing pages are really fun to write. So now I want to jump into books. Okay, so if you know anything about me, you know I'm obsessed with The Slight Edge. I just think it's such a great um, book that explains the power of compound effect. I recommend it all the time. I I just adore this book. It has reduced my anxiety and in, in life tremendously because I just tell myself, all right, just slight edge it. So I really love this book. It's fantastic. It's um, a good book when you're going to start out being a copywriter too because it is really overwhelming to start out in a new career for sure. So the next one that I really like is Breakthrough Copywriting with David Garfinkel. I love that it's short to the point. It gives you some actionable techniques. It shows you a bunch of different emotional techniques where you kind of bring your audience from one emotion to another. I love it because, it, again, it's short to the point. It gives you some practical tips that you can go ahead and start working on immediately. Next one is My Life in Advertising and Scientific Advertising uh, by Claude Hopkins. This one is also a great book. I've recommended it before. Um, it can feel a little old school, but it's so worth it. You will gain so much insight and learn a ton from it. I really promise. So, Next one is the Ad Week Copywriting Handbook by Joseph Sugarman. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting him recently. He is wonderful and very funny. And uh, yeah, it's another really great book. Um, again, super good. Even if you have been copywriting for a while and you, you know, you should go back and read this book because it is definitely one of the classics. And there are some classics actually that I don't recommend because I've read them and I'm like, Okay, I, I don't know, maybe this was great when it was written, but right now it doesn't seem like anything new. And so I make sure that any book that I recommend isn't one of those. So I, I, even though this is one of the classic recommendations, I think it's earned its place. The other one that's great is the Copywriter's Handbook, a step-by-step -step guide to writing copy that sells. Uh, yeah, so this is this is another great book that's super good if you're you know just starting out, don't know where to start, and it will really work walk you through some classic techniques for getting started. Up next is Everybody Writes by Anne Hanley. This is actually really just about writing in general, not necessarily copywriting, but it is fantastic. It's super great for anyone who's a writer, not just copywriters. It's so easy to read, so enjoyable to read. The entire time I was reading it, I was just thinking, dang, like this woman knows how to write. And so just even observing how she writes is a lesson in and of itself on how to be a better writer. So I really recommend that. The other one I recommend that is actually not a copywriting book, but is a um, is actually about pitching and a little bit about sales. And it's really excellent as an audiobook, actually. So I I really recommend it. Hearing him speak is also really good because you get to hear his inflections and his tone. And yeah, he's just Oren Claff is incredible. 
it really gets you thinking about kind of how you communicate verbally and in your day-to-day -day life and it definitely has copywriting lessons in it and um yeah it's it's really again not about copywriting but it's about pitching yourself it's about which is much needed on client calls by the way so um and about kind of the mindset behind it and everything that goes into a successful pitch so highly recommended and again i, rec I recommend it on an audiobook then we have, I just wanted to point out, because this is a book that is available online for free right here at scientificadvertising.com backslash scientificadvertising.pdf. And so this is that Claude Hopkins, Claude Hopkins book um, that you can access online for free. So I wanted to be sure to leave this with you because it's something that you can, you know, pick up and start writing without having to, you know, hop on Amazon and, and get it sent to you. So, so these are some of my favorite tools. I still use almost all of these tools today. Even the books, I have them highlighted, dog-eared, written in, and I have them right at my desk and I pull them out all the time. And please share your resources with us. We want to know what's worked for you, what's really helped in your journey as a copywriter. You can share them in the comments. I love your comments. You can give me ideas for future videos. And of course, like that video if it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.